AMD's new CPUs are looking absolutely wild. Let's talk about it. Before that, MyHeritage is a DNA testing website who I've partnered with today to find out where I originate from and what my ethnicity might be. Luckily, taking a test is as simple as activating your kit online, swabbing your mouth for 30 to 60 seconds, then breaking off the swab into a liquid vial and repeating the step with the second vial and swab. Finally, you just seal both vials and ship them in the plastic bag within the shipping package for inspection, and now you just wait for the results. Okay, apparently I'm 50 7.1% North and West European, 17.1% East European, and 14.6% Scandinavian, 11.2% English. It looks like a lot of this is actually coming from Norway and Sweden, but there's also a ton of stuff here from France, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands. But if we take a more detailed look here, we can see there's even DNA matches and you can even dive deeper and compare some of your DNA to some others that you might be matching with. I definitely highly recommend taking a look at my heritage yourself to see if you're surprised by your own heritage. And to do so, be sure to click the link in the description below and go ahead and use this discount code, which will be, I think, here to get free shipping. But thank you to MyHeritage for sponsoring today's video, and I can't wait to take a closer look at where my family comes from. So yes, it's that time of the year. It's time to throw our old CPUs in the trash because we got new products incoming and we must consume. Now, to be fair, this time around, it's looking like these new CPUs, not only from AMD, but also Intel, are going to be a pretty substantial performance increase, and I'm really looking forward to them. I mean, especially if you're on AM5, wow, Zen 5, once we go over some of this information, I think you're going to be impressed, because I know I certainly was, but we have a number of stories to go over today, and let's first start off with Intel, because, yeah, Arrow Lake, it's coming, fellas, and it's coming in hot, hard, and buff. I mean, guys... It's looking like these are going to be a lot faster than I was originally expecting. Why do I say that? Well, according to this WCCF Tech article, it looks like the clock speeds of these upcoming CPUs could end up being a lot higher than we originally anticipated. Now, I've also seen some information floating around suggesting that the boost clocks might end up being a lot closer to the 13900K or the 14900K, whereas previously we were expecting a paltry roughly you know 5 to 5.5 gigahertz but no it looks like they are going to be potentially achieving 5.7 gigahertz who knows maybe even higher and according to this wccf tech article it looks like the base clock of these cpus is also way way higher i mean this is kind of unprecedented according to the information it looks like these new what appears to be engineering samples are actually hitting up to 3.6 gigahertz for their base clock. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but typically Intel CPUs have a very low base clock, especially on engineering samples. In fact, the 12900K was just 3.2 gigahertz, the 13900K was three, and the 14900K went back up to 3.2 gigahertz. So we're talking about a pretty substantial increase when it comes to those base clocks. And I do actually think that this might come down to the far, far better power efficiency that we should be seeing out of these Arrow Lake CPUs, because I know it's all fun and games to be guzzling down gasoline by the gallon. Wait, no, that's something else. To be guzzling down power by the gallon, if leaks and rumors are to be believed, well, Intel's moving on to a far, far more advanced node, which will draw far far less power and according to a videocards.com article well based on some information they were able to source from bench life it looks like we do have some rough estimates as to when these cpus might actually be available not only you know the amd cpus but then also the lunar lake mobile cpus apparently are coming sometime between the 17th and the 24th of september and then finally the desktop cpus the ones you're waiting for probably coming around October of 2024, according to this Bench Life information. And that definitely does make a lot of sense. So if you're waiting for those new Intel CPUs, it's not gonna be too much longer. But now it's time to talk about AMD because guys, we got it. In fact, every comment you make about AMD, um, AMD releases 10 more CPUs. Let's just go with that. Anyway, yes. AMD is coming out with Zen 5. It's looking absolutely incredible based on the information that they released. But I mean, you know, AMD benchmarks. I mean, are we really going to believe that? Well, the great news is it looks like we do actually have some information based on some early benchmarks that yes, Zen 5 is looking absolutely 
insane and could be potentially the largest performance increase we've seen on a CPU, depending on what you're doing, in a very, very long time. That's pretty crazy. Now, this information is coming from WCCF Tech, and it looks like they actually got these benchmarks from an Anantech forum member, Igor, who did go ahead and get a hold of someone who had an engineering sample of the 9950X flagship AMD Zen 5 CPU. I'm gonna lose my mind. And apparently they're running it with probably what appears to be tuned DDR5 8000 memory. Now, again, tuned 8000 megahertz memory is gonna be a little bit unrealistic for every single user out there. It's probably gonna be on the higher side when it comes to those benchmark numbers, but Regardless, I think this is gonna be, I think we can all agree, a really, really good showing for AMD because take a look here, guys. We're talking about roughly 96% higher performance when compared to the last generation 7950X in AES instructions based on this ADA 64 benchmark. And then according to WCCF Tech, it looks like on average, we're also talking around 39% higher FP32 and 39% higher FP64. But if you actually look at the charts, there's some really, really impressive performance numbers there, guys. Now, to be fair, as far as I'm aware, it sounds like these new AES benchmarks are gonna be heavily reliant on AVX 512 instructions, which, what do you know, the 9950X has, the 7950X doesn't. So is it realistic to expect two times the gaming performance out of the 9950X? No, no it's not. Calm down. Just because it can reach 96% higher performance doesn't mean that's gonna be the average gaming performance uplift. But regardless, 96% higher performance very, very impressive stuff. And even if it is only on average 40% faster in multi-core workloads and that sort of, you know, professional stuff. Well, hey, what other industry do you see 40% higher performance in anything in a single year? That's pretty crazy and really, really impressive. Now, the question is, we still don't know for sure how much faster it's gonna be in gaming. Is it gonna be, you know, kind of matching the 7800X3D? Is it gonna be faster? Is it gonna be way faster? We just simply don't know its gaming performance as of yet. But what I will leave you with is it sounds like AMD is experimenting with some new X3D stuff as well. Maybe we'll get higher cache, lower latency, something like that. They're definitely working on something. And I do think we're gonna see something really, really interesting out of Zen 5 when it comes to X3D. And this could actually lead to a really, really substantial performance uplift when it comes to that gaming. So even if you're not waiting for Zen 5 and you're waiting for Zen 5 X3D, I think there's gonna be a lot of great stuff out there for you guys to choose from, or maybe you wanna go Intel instead because based on those clock speeds and the crazy IPC improvements that they're getting out of you know, their E cores, and even the P cores are getting some decent uplifts as well, there's, again, a lot of cool stuff coming out here, guys, and I can't wait to test them against each other to see which is gonna be the best option for not only me, but all of you guys watching as well. Also, don't forget to check out MyHeritage linked in the description below. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Intel can win this time around? Can they get their power under control and spank AMD's cheeks? Or is AMD gonna continue to dominate when it comes to that gaming performance and efficiency. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.